Hey guys, I hope all of you are doing fine. Um, after a long time, yes indeed. <laughs> but like I promised in my previous videos, I'm going to put down some very basic fundamentals for you. So I have designed three lectures. That is, today will be the first class, advanced basis. And there will be two more classes. In these three classes, you will learn so much about fine perfumery that you will never need any help from anybody ever again. Right? That's a huge claim. <laughs> but I promise you, if you pay enough attention to today's class, the next class, which will be uploaded within a week or 10 days, I promise you. And the third class, again, within a week or 10 days. In these three classes, you will learn so much that the, the, the most professional perfumers in the world today, this is how they go about designing uh, uh, their fragrances. Okay. So you need to pay some attention, right? Let's start with basis. Now, we understood one thing many a times that what a base means is a cup. A base is a cup which is holding your fragrance. Right? What is a base? A base is actually everything of a fragrance. The rest of the things are just to give it a structure and a smell but the base is the cup which holds the fragrance and make sure that the fragrance is lasting for a long time right so today we will use two materials and make three bases with those materials am I making any sense Again, it will be a long lecture, so you need to pay some attention. Firstly, we will be making, I will be making three lectures. Today will be the first lecture. And we, in these lectures, we are going, in the first lecture, we are going to make three bases with modern materials. And once you finish these three bases, in tomorrow's class, I will teach you how to put in tomorrow, in the next week's class, the second class of advanced fine perfumery. I will teach you how to put a smell in the same base. In the third class, we will try to make some practical formulas. Right? So today we are making our own base. Starting from the most important thing. Dilutions, right? Please pay some attention. Which materials do we use to dilute? I mean, sol which solvents do you do you, do we usually use? Just top of your head. Think about solvents: DPG, benzyl benzoate. What else? Iso, propyl, state. What else? Try ethyl citrate. Which other solvents? Salicylates. Okay. So today we are going to make three bases. And the only solvent, we are not going to talk about any of the other solvents. Only one solvent use. No DPG, no benzyl benzoate, no isopropyl state, no other solvent. 
only salicylate is the only solvent. Whichever salicylate, benzyl, hexyl, amyl, whichever salicylate, but it has to be a salicylate. Only solvent which we are going to use. And what are we using? What are we using? Which material are we using to use this solvent? Please pay some attention. What do we use to dilute something like ambroxan? Okay. We need some space. So. Ambroxan, which comes in a powdered form, of course. Ambroxan. So if we are making 10% solution of ambroxan, it will be, say for example, 1 gram of ambroxan and 9 grams of a solvent. Am I making any sense or <laughs> this is just simple ABC of dilutions. If you're, if you're diluting a powder, something like Ambroxan or something like Ambermax, this is the way we do it. One gram of the powder, nine grams of the solvent, right? Clear? Now, what we are going to do, like I've just mentioned, we are going to forget about the solvents. We are going to use 9 grams of some other materials. Clear enough? How do we dilute ambroxan? One at 10% concentration, we use 1 gram of ambroxan, 9 grams of a solvent, DPG, ethanol, benzyl benzoate, triethylcitrate, isopropyl myristate, whichever solvent you're trying to use ambroxan with. But we are using 1 gram of ambroxan and 9 grams of some other materials to make 10% solution of ambroxan. 1 gram of ambroxan, 9 grams of other materials. Now, what are these other materials? Let's try to understand what these other materials are. Right? Please pay some attention. C, P, D, ethylene, brassylate, ISO, E, super, hedion, Salicylate, coumarin. Right? I'm, I'm teaching you something which will, though it may seem complex to you, once you start using this, you will be able to do a lot of things, a lot of very refined things in a small period of time. And you really need to pay attention to what we are doing. Okay. Like I told you, it's, I'm promising you, I don't use these words very lightly. I promise you, if you pay enough attention to the things which I'm teaching you today and tomorrow, and not tomorrow, I mean the second class and the third class, you'll, you will never need any help, not even from a SIPCA. You won't need any help from people sitting at a sip car. I promise you, if you pay enough attention to the things I'm, I'm trying to teach you. So, <clears throat> please take a, a, a canister, put a label on the canister, base one, in which we are using ambroxan one gram, 2.5, 2.5, Two point five. Now this salicylate 
can be any salicylate. It can be benzyl salicylate, fine, hexyl salicylate, fine, amyl salicylate, fine. It doesn't matter. It has to be a salicylate. Okay. Well, ben benzyl is good. It has this balsamic diffusive effect or hexyl or amyl. Right. So, uh, CPD 0 0.50, 0 0.50, coumarin 0 0.50. Now mathematics, calculate, add these things, it will be 9 grams, right? This will be 7 grams, 7.5, 8.5, no sorry, 7.5, 8.5 and coumarin will be 9 grams. Fair enough. This is your base number one. Now again, you need to take a small can, a small can in which a canister or a glass bottle or uh, uh, you know the harder form of plastic bottles which can you know handle the regions and chemicals. You need to take that those that one um, that kind of a canister. Put a label on it called base number one. And the same thing, we're using ambroxin, but instead of using nine grams of solvent, we're using nine grams of these materials. CPD, cyclopentadecanalone, or exaltone, or whatever, it's actually CPD. So these materials with ambroxin. This is base number one. This is base number one. Now base number two. Make the same base with Amber Max. <clears throat> right. We are making three bases. So, in the first base, we have used ambroxan. In the second base, in the second canister, in the second place where you're going to store these materials, use one gram of Ambermax and the rest of the materials, same. Am I making any sense? Or is it blank? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> right, what else man? It's simple to understand. There's no rocket science in this. All you need is a weighing machine and you're doing the same procedure of diluting materials like ambroxan like any other material, even CPD is diluted. But for this experiment to work, please don't dilute any materials. I have done this hundreds of times, hundreds and hundreds of times. And I have done this without any dilutions. So CPD, I'm sure you understand, it's like crystal, like crystals kind of thing. So you have to, you know, spend, waste a lot of materials. But for these bases to work, you can start making successful perfumes in three months instead of five years. You know, I'm taking, I'm, I'm saving four and a half years if you follow these things. Pay attention to the details. In the first base, we have used ambroxan and these materials. In the second base, we, have, we are using Am A Ambermax. In base number three, we are using ambroxan 0.50 and Ambermax 
0 0.50. The rest of the materials are the same. Right? The same CPD ethylene brasilite. ISO is super, hedion, salicylate, like I told you, benzyl, hexyl, whatever. Coumarin, pure coumarin. Coumarin is also in the powdered form. Fair enough. So all I'm trying to tell you is using these modern bases like Ambroxan, Ambermax, Ambrosinide, instead of diluting it with a solvent, you can prepare your own base and this is will be a versatile base. Tomorrow, I'm sorry, in the next class, all I'm going to teach you is how to put the smell in this cup. Because 90% of your work as a perfumer is done once you prepare these three bases. 90% of your work is done. All you need to do is put a smell in it, which we will understand in the next class. I hope I'm making some sense. So, not to uh, repeat it again, but it's good for you, right? What we did is we are making something like a cup, which will be a universal thing for any perfume which you will make. Any perfume, it doesn't matter if it's oriental, it doesn't matter if it's a citrus fragrance. If it's a fuja, if it's a combination oriental fuja, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. This is the universal base and this will be so diffusive, so diffusive. All the trail of the silage you will need, you know, all the proper diffusion, uh, longevity, you know, ethylene brasilite. This is the... <laughs> I'm sure if you're from the industry, you know that this is one material. You can make the fragrance long quite a lot. Italian brasilite or a combination of uh, Italian brasilite with um, a, a balsam or a, a resinoid. You know, if you combine Italian brasilite with uh, even aldehydes, that will be enough for you to to you know the, for the longevity to be six hours, eight hours. With a balsam, it can be even something like Styrax maybe. It can be like even nine hours, 10 hours, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. So the way I have designed these particular universal bases, and I use it myself. I mean, I'm, what I'm teaching you today is 10 years of, of many, many, many hundreds of experiments which I've done in my life. And all you need to do, all you need to do is just prepare these three bases and tomorrow we will put some smell into it, right? So I'll see you in the next class. Take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.